Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. Hope you're all okay and managed to get some nice crafting done. Um, it's still the weekend. Um, thanks for any new subscribers joining me, and thanks to any returning subscribers. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> oh dear, isn't that the way? Hmm. I just had to have a drink of my tea because. I didn't have a cough before I started the video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm going to do another couple of pieces of junk um, using junk. So, uh, you may remember in a previous video I showed you a pile of junk I had. One of the pieces was this. We keep getting these through the door from church or retirement homes. Um, I'm sure they think that we're, you know, due to go in one. <laughs> <laughs> now, I wanted to keep this as a gate piece. The only thing I have, the only qualm I have, is if, if this was a journal page, this is going to be edge to edge on it. So, now, I think it's a little bit too wide, which is such a shame, because I was thinking I could redo the cut it down a little bit and rescore here we're going to cover it anyway so I think that's what we're going to do with that and we're going to cover it and make a nice gate piece but we're going to so it's actually it's actually five and three quarter inches more or less wide so I think it needs to be down to say if it was five inches then you'd have this leeway either side. That's five inches from there to there. So you'd have a bit of leeway either side of your page. So I think we're going to rescore that and then we'll um, cover that. And then I showed you this piece that came off the back of a craft magazine that my husband bought with bought me. Um, and it keeps sticking to this because they put so much glue on it. Now, I wanted to use this piece i wanted to cover it and have it as a flip so i don't actually want any of this although i do quite like this little labely thing here so we might keep that for another day um so i think i'm going to get my paper trimmer and I'm going to, so where it's stuck, unfortunately, it has torn. But I don't, I'm not worried too much about that because I think we can cover it up. So I think if we cut it about here, I've got no idea, really. <laughs> so apart from that little ticket, I don't really want that piece. So I'll put that down there. And then we'll just trim this down to about about there um I just lift that up because i don't want to cut through the i only want to go to kind of there like that so that's that's good that could make a see even that piece could be covered and make a belly band the, the you know it's endless isn't it endless right well, i'll keep that just in case i decide to do something like that with it so now we have let's put this back let's get a pretend journal page it's just a piece of copy paper um so now we have this now that could then go on the edge of a page a journal page and it could be stuck down that side and we could make a nice side tuck out of that and then that would flip open and i just like the shape of it because it's a banner i just really liked it so that's what we're going to do okay so let's start with this one so let's round the corners i'll just get my corner around I'm sorry i should have had these things down ready and we'll corner round or round the corners <laughs> of that first of all i think that would be nice on the back and we'll put a little thumb hole in it anyway just so that we know that and i'm just going to eyeball it it's only going to be a very small 
small one. So we'll do that ready so we know that on the back that's going to be a little side tuck. Right, okay. So oh, I have we're going to tackle that one in a minute. I'm trying to be as quick as I can. That's why I'm only doing two pieces. So I've got this down here. Um, the school, little scoreboard and over here I already picked out a pile of scrap paper which I want to use up so we've got to stick this down so let's have a look and see what we've got we've got a nice piece of lace lace digital um, it's probably double sided I prefer that side so let's um Let's start by putting this down, I think. We'll take off the edge like that. And what we'll do is we will we will cut it once we stick it down and then we'll trim off the, the edges, I think. think my piles are never ending you know I hope everyone else has got piles <laughs> <I'm>... <laughs> yes and I'm not talking about hemorrhoids here <laughs> right we can stick this down on here I'm gonna have to cover all sides so the only thing is we can't go up to that crease so we will have a tiny bit of that dark pink showing but that's all right that's okay let's use a straighter side okay so we don't want to go too far up to that crease okay so let's see if we can distress distress around this bit but i think i don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference to that pink Okay, and we will put the stress down there because we're going to stick that bit down. Okay, let's do it. Let's stick this down. So we will use some come out. I'm always a little skin over the top of it which is the best part for me because I like peeling it off. I don't like it on my hands and I don't like having to peel it off my hands. Do I like this bit? Okay. All right, we're spending too much time doing that, but it won't come off. Gosh, I'm having to really stuck on. Right. Okay, so that's the side. That. I'll just have to spread that now. I'm not squeezing the bottom, I'm just spreading that out. Try not to breathe in the fumes. I've decided that I'm going to try and clean this mat. I'm going to try putting it in the sink and scrubbing it with some. Oh, now hang on a minute. That did not go according to plan because is that? Yeah, that side. Let me just ink that. Oh gosh, the fumes. So I'll put this down instead because I noticed there was a piece peeking out. So I've got a wet wipe here. I'm gonna to have to I always make such a mess with this clow. Oof right. Okay. Let's 
move that down a bit. Right, okay, let's give that, do it on here. Oof. Okay, we'll wait for that to dry a bit. So we'll cover this bit next. I think I keep turning the same page over on this glue book. <laughs> we'll have something different on this side. Let's see. Oh, I've got this look at this. Must have come out of some must have come out something. I don't know what it was. Scrap pad of some just scrap it pad or something, maybe. Um don't know what we'll put this into this piece so we're going to kind of keep it fairly oh, there's another piece of that fairly generic so the pa pa papers I've got out all kind of yellows pale yellows and browns and that sort of thing that's upside down anyway to use it up somehow let's trim this off put that back okay I'll take a piece off down here I shouldn't have done that now it's not wide enough oh gosh okay well, we've still got this piece okay so we'll take that yeah I just wanted to take I didn't want that edge to be completely straight that's why I did that. This is slightly thicker paper. Okay. Oh, I don't know if I like it now. I like the other piece because it had lots of interest on it and I've gone and ruined that now. We could still use that for collaging. Let's find another bit. Okay. What about this is nice. Oh, let's go for something plain. How wide is that? Just not quite wide enough there. Okay. Let's have a quick look through here. Well, we've got some more lace. This time it's a different colour. That would be quite nice. So we'll stick with that because we can we can collage over the top. And okay, we might as well leave that straight edge. Let's just again we want it right in. So if we make a mark there oh gosh what is up with me oh what have I done I had that meshed out look and it's not long enough what am I doing making a complete hash of this how it right so we're going to just glue it on because i'm not obviously no good at measuring today and no good at, at trimming either goodness me this is turning into 
making a lot of junk out of junk because of making mistakes. Oh, we're just going <laughs> to... I'm being a bit cat-handed and everything. What is up with me today? <laughs> we want it this side anyway, so... Good job I spotted that too, isn't it? Okay. Right. I'm going to stick that on. hinge I don't want it sticking up I've learned from previous you know mistakes on that too okay right let's cut this one oh gosh why did I use clow tell me Right, mess, mess, mess. Move that out of the way. Scissors. No, I won't use my nice fussy cutting scissors because I'm going to get them all glued up. So, trimming round here now. At long last, we'll say. Following that round. They're a bit gluey, so they're going in the bin. Okay, that needs sticking down a bit. So we'll use the glue stick for that. Okay. Right, so it was up that way, wasn't it? So let's ink round that bit. I'm just waiting for the other bit to dry. I'm hoping by inking round it won't show up any kind of edges on that card. Yeah, that needs needs sticking down as well. Actually wondering if I'll ever use this in anything. <laughs> yes, have faith. <laughs> okay, let's cut this now. Thank goodness something went right. It's glued. I'm not going to use that. Right. Okay. Right. So it will be on the journal page. So here's our journal page. 
so it will go be stuck down so we've got to cover this side next <clears throat> and then this side will be stuck down here and here and it will be a tuck okay so let's put something on this side here okay so i want to open it up i want to collage that with something nice let's see what do we got as a background piece um, could collage it anyway so we could have some of this it's very thin See if I had a bit of music. Oh, I know what I'd like. I think so this would be nice. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. Mind you, you're probably glad of that. Because I'm concentrating, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> concentrating. Okay, so put that there. And then we'll have what else have we got here? Now I know I had a bit of music paper in here somewhere. Just a little scrap, really. And we've got some nice bit of that. Might be nice. Okay, here it is. So, let's take off that strip down the side so that's the right way <clears throat> okay so what we'll do is maybe we'll collage that Oh, this might have to be a yellow kind of coloured journal, mightn't it? just thrown down the other piece I ripped and I think it was this piece actually that 
just going to do down here. We'll have it so that it covers down there. That would be quite nice. that's so thin this dictionary I'm going to leave it like it is I have it so that it covers up there and then we want to put something nice to side I think be nice to have a Let's see what else um, nice that could be too big that butterfly hmm I don't know about this piece actually isn't it awful it, some days I don't know about you some days I find it quite easy some days I find it extremely hard to collage a piece and know see I like this and know what I'm actually going to do with it I find the collaging taking does take me longer so if we don't have time today we may have to do this eight piece another day yeah, so that's much nicer I like that but what we'll do is move that down so we'll just take off that that little bit of border move that there this Here, this sort of here because that covers that bit there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, why don't I want to just cover it first like this and then it's a blank canvas, isn't it? I could just cover it with one piece of that. Sorry, I am so sorry that I am, you know procrastinating about it all in the way that I am I'm really sorry okay we're gonna stick that down I think because that could be a nice journal area we could we could still add some bits to it okay let's do that so say we want to let's glue this why didn't i think of that before nearly finished this canal and i actually don't think i'll be buying any more of it I know some of you do really love it and it is a it is a nice wet glue for move you know being able to move pieces about before they actually stick down uh, I don't know just we don't get on this Kalal and I we don't see eye to eye Okay, 
and I don't want it. Hold on a second. Oh, let's try again. Okay, let's have that up slightly higher. Like that. If I set my sights too high trying to make something out of this piece. Okay, right, I feel a bit better now that I've, so that's going to be glued down, we don't need to worry about that. So then it's going to open up like this, just trimming off the top. Let's get it ink round. Okay, right, I'm a bit happy with that now. That's worked out better than I thought. It's going to trim down here. I have to do it with my small scissors. Okay, right. Just put that lid on for a minute. Okay, now we can do some collaging. Oh my goodness me. Do you know, for an awful minute I thought I'd put it on upside down. I was going to just stop the video and get rid of it and not ever use it. Do another one. I'm just drinking my tea. I'm thinking now, what am I supposed to be doing? Hmm. Right. So it's not on, it's not on upside down. Oh, I just keep picking at it, don't I? I can't help it. Sorry. Right. Okay. Now going to be flipping open from that side to that so this side we want to make really really pretty now I love these butterflies I would really like to be able to use one of them on here so I'm going to tear this one out Ink that up. 
yes i want i want a little bit of the background that it's on so some music and something like that okay what else shall i put on there so we can have a bit of this would be quite nice Some labels and I've got a definition there of nature that'd be quite nice Here, maybe okay. So now I'm going to just get my stickers. I know I seem to be using my stickers a lot lately. I do like using stickers, but what I thought was. And these out and have something nice going up behind here like this somehow and maybe over the top of that butterfly What else have we got? That would be quite nice. That's got berries on, so it kind of lends me to think that it's more autumnal than. So I'm just going to pull them out. and see what I've got. That's quite nice. But I like this one. This, yeah, that's very unusual. Okay, so what I thought maybe, we could have that there like so. Take that off for a minute and this. And we've got our butterfly up here. don't think that that's suitable. Blue, that's a nicer colour. Um, Inspiration. I had to have some inspiration for this, that's for sure. I'm just looking for a smaller number, really. Uh, just have a look for something maybe that is green. Oops. purple on it. I'm not keen on that. Not for this. Hmm. 
hmm, how that's going to look, but let's put those there for a minute. And I think it needs something a bit darker. So I'm going to use some of this straw paper from Juliet Camellia Craft Designs. I don't think that's suitable now, or that one, or that one. So, we just want a small green label that oh, had a nice number on it. Now, that would be nice down there. Okay. And Right, I'm going to go and try this now. Just have a drink of my tea. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut around this. Okay, and we will use a piece of this trim up here for this and cut that down. So I am going to put these down first. So I need to ink round this. Getting this in the right place so I know where to glue glue it. Quite like that. Put that down there. And this going up round here. I don't know if to trim that, but that's okay. Right, okay. Let's 
just keep this like so. One way up because of the fiber. Okay, so let's get these down. So I want this here and this kind of here. Yeah, I think so. And this is going to go here. Like that. So you want to put this down first. Okay. Glue that with the tool. Right, so actually, this bit goes first. So, right, this bit next. Now I'm just going to lift that up and put him in there like that. Okay, right, butterfly next. see me where am I yep here the butterfly kind of on its side like that and then I'm going to use this one I think that was the one we decided on now this one and let yellow get lost or this one right I'm going to put this one down and hopefully my idea that I have is actually going to work so the idea I have is just to put it 
down like that. And then and then we're going to take this piece. that coming in from that side like that And then we're going to ink this. We are going to add it up with my little scissors. Hmm. Oh, they're so small, they actually drop down into my desk tidy. <laughs> Just want a bit of that. Taking that bit off, I don't like that. Okay. Let's see if we can use that. Here. Right, just wait for that to dry. Have a swig of tea. Now, I like the way that's turned out. I just felt like trying something a bit different. Hmm. So I like that. Now, I suppose we could put something down here, maybe. Something else here, tiny, maybe a tiny little label, do you think? Spotted a, a little green one. No, I don't think we have that one. I think. these bright ideas <laughs> but trying to execute them is another matter
you know, you don't want another number. I've got a bit of writing down there that could sort of mirror that colour up there. That there. Okay, I don't like that. Let's see if I've got anything inspirational in here. Um, little round one would be nice actually let's have a look they've all got the same kind of numbers on though Oh, we've got to have tweezers really to get these out of here now. I don't know if this was a good idea putting them in, in here like <laughs> Okay. Um oh, not a good idea. This one just uses anything else kind of no. Okay. I actually quite like that one there. Yeah, let's put that down. Let's do it. Clear the art glitter. These are Tim Holtz um, snippets. A couple of different sets mixed up actually. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Okay, I don't think we're going to have time to do another one, another piece today. I'm going to save that gate piece and we'll do it another time. We don't have to do more than one piece in one episode, especially if we're decorating. So we've got this. So that will be on the front and so we can open it with that. Inside is a nice little journaling sort of area. Um, we could put something upside of there which would be nice. Let's have a look at some fussy cuts maybe. Um, And that's that envelope that's actually got fussy cuts of bees and things in that uh, Violet made me. Actually, I mustn't forget I've got those. Oh, they won't go back in. I have to sort those out in a minute. I think what that's doing on the top. These are packs I've bought from Tanya at Tatty Treasure over the time still haven't used them obviously so i have to work up to what i'm going to actually do with them <laughs> so that's too dull too dull too dull too bright so if we look at the other side and use kind of that color scheme i think so those aren't suitable. I don't want those. Oh, what's this? That's nice. That's quite nice. That is just a skate. I have got some newer ones. Summery colours look. Okay, let's see what we got here.
be a bit bent. I'm trying to keep them how they were. But I quite like that if we had it, say, that side, so we're not taking away the journaling spot. I think that would be nice. Or how about... one away for a minute. How about this? We had those. Obviously you'd have to cut it off at the bottom. Kind of had them like that. Oh, I'm trying to pick that up. Yeah, I think those would work nicely. Okay. Let's put those in here. Okay. So I'm going to do that and thought maybe we might put them on a bit of this lovely straw paper. We're going to take away the March April bit up the side, which is quite nice. Maybe not then. Well, maybe we just put them down like this because you could still see that in the background. Like that. That's nice. Okay glue them down first so this one will have okay fiddly they are fiddly to glue it's kind of a question of, of dotting it around really yeah I'm always a bit um, overzealous on what I'm going to do in a video um, and then I realised oh, there's no way I can actually achieve all that because I'm quite slow. I don't know why. I don't know whether it's because I take my, you know, it takes me a while to decide what to put down or or what. That one there. And then this one, kind of have that up there, I think. Stomach is, you can hear a lot of gurgling, that's my stomach. I can hear um, Dara, my husband, he's doing dinner today, it's his turn. Clear the oven then. Probably cut that tail off anyway, but what we want to do is get that so that it kind of curves down like that. Give that a good press down now. Nope, you're not staying on, you're going. I'm just going to shut the glue down for a minute. Okay, so that's added a nice little area to that. So, could have something down here now, and I think we will have. A little label. I just love these labels. I really do. Now I had some kind of brownie looking ones. It's quite nice. Some 
nice, that one. Can't put it straight at the bottom because it curves round. It'd have to be kind of straight on like that. Don't think that would work. Just want something a bit smaller. Um, I know I've got some because I've printed, printed them and cut them out the other day. I should separate them really, the really small ones from the bigger ones, I think. Oh, there's a butterfly there. I don't know how the butterfly got in there. I really don't. Ah, here's a nice little one. Now that's nice. I like that. Oh, I think we'll use that. And that's not printed on that straight at all anyway, but just the right size to kind of put it like that. So there we have it. Right, let's pin the glue. So sadly, we've only made one piece today. And I do apologise, but I don't know. It's nice to make one nice piece. Um, better, I think, to do that than to make more than one. If it's kind of one-offs like these, they, I think they take longer. If it was um, a question of mass making, and I was say making six of the same thing, then I think it would be a bit easier because I'd be able to you know, make something now so so that's going on the back of the journal that's the flip out so there's a bit of a journaling spot there and then on the other side on this page will be this we well, haven't we haven't actually decorated this with anything have we so let's quickly see what have we got that we can put on there so oh, things are sticking to it it's quite nice little rose Kind of a dog rose i like that we'll keep that one out i've forgotten i had these these are um stickers and they're kind of like well they're a bit peculiar as are quite a few things i find you get from amazon when it comes to stickers because often they come from china I and mean, they're quite big um See if there's anything that I'd like to use. <laughs> Maybe you never know. It's a nice kangaroo. These are travel ones, I think. They're all countries. Oh, there's Trump. Now, would I want to put Donald Trump on something? That's up for debate. I don't know. Um, maybe if I was doing something I could do a travel journal and keep these for that actually that would be quite nice wouldn't it do a travel um, some sort of travel traveling around the world journal so 
some sort. Then we could put um, Mr. Donald Trump on. Because that would be quite nice. A tape measure. Um, and let's see what else have we got. In here in this box of tricks so we've got these these are small let's have a look at these okay so we'll make this kind of a, a stickery event i think and we might have a bit of collage going on so there's me thinking we've finished so you see what i mean when they're kind of one-off pieces they do take a bit longer Can't hurry making a decision about what you're doing, where you're putting it. Okay, Got this. I'm just going to mm. yes yeah, thinking of cutting that down okay right well, we have that there anyway we've got this this and we can have a bit of that going on let's have a look in these these are quite small and they're they are decent ones so mm, there's a nice bit of like old paper there mix them up with some weird things like these pancakes that would be nice to go in the travel book and there's a there's a little advert there for april it's quite nice oh there's never grow up on a piece of toast um there's a glamorous lady called queen of diamonds i think she's advertising lipstick and nail varnish Sticker on a sticker. We've got some numbers, so these are quite nice. I like well, that's quite nice. That's kind of a bit of music. And okay, let's put this down. I think I'm having a sticker phase at the moment. Yeah, I think you, I think maybe you go through phases of different things you want to use. So I'm gonna attempt to kind of put those two down at the same time, like so. I think we might put this bit of old English or whatever it is. Manuscript. Oh, I don't know. There's a bit of crashing and banging going on downstairs with the dinner. <laughs> a bit like 40 Towers, I think, here. <laughs> oh, goodness knows what's happening down there. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're going to have this in here. So I'm going to peel that. Oh, Paddy's come up. I've just heard him come up. I've shut the door so he can't come in just because he likes being with Daddy when Daddy's at home. And um, so we put that there. Cut 
this piece off. Like that. Trim that in a minute. Okay, so and then we're going to put this piece up here. Oh, it's put me off hearing all that crash bang walloping downstairs. Goodness knows what I'm having for dinner. Who knows? What well, there might be a surprise. More the, more of a surprise than I anticipate. And he thinks. Let's just quickly trim that. So that wasn't very straight, was it? At least you can tape stickers up, and we may have to put a bit of glue on that. That's better, right? Let's give it a press down, and I can glue that if necessary. Okay, so we've got a bit of layering going on here. So we'll take our, I'm going to have this, and I'm going to have half of that. Oh, we better hurry up because it sounds like he might be actually dishing something up. God only knows what. Just gonna have a piece of that. Actually, that can go around there like so. Can you tell I'm panicking now? <laughs> Ooh. Come on. <laughs> Sounds a bit like the Swedish chef off the Muppets, you know. The crash bang, banging and whatever going on. We have that here like so. And then, I'm just going to cut that off. Like that. And we have that bit. I think actually have that bit coming in from there. And then we will trim that. Like that. So let's just trim that bit. Okay, right, let's clear up. Put the glue away. All these stickers can go back. Might they can go over there for now. Okay, I bet this is how long has this been? over a minute oh my goodness a minute and 19 minutes just to do one piece oh right so that was the piece we were using from the magazine um i'm gonna have to trim that now like that so it's a flip it will go on our journal page so this was the journal page here it will go on like that so it flips up we've got a journaling spot here goes back down and then underneath here and that needs trimming like so and then underneath here on the back of the page we will have a nice tuck spot um when it goes in the journal it can have something nice on it okay so that's what we've done that's the piece we've made a little flip out
Okay, well, I don't know how you present it to photograph it, but um, sorry it's taken me over an hour. I cannot believe it just to do one piece. Unbelievable. Right, I'm going. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.